Maing adlaw na tong tanan. In this video, I am going to show you on how to improve blood flow and circulation in your legs, and that could potentially shrink the swelling. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist, and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. According to Hatfield and others, there is a way on how to improve blood flow and circulation in your legs, and I am going to show you that method in this video. Poor circulation may cause a lot of problems such as numbness to your legs, muscle cramps, tingling sensation, you will also literally feel cold feet, and if you have wounds, your wounds may be slow in healing. So good blood flow and circulation is very important. So I'm going to show you in this video those techniques and exercises. And if you're ready, let's get started. All right, before we get started, if you have swelling on your legs or one of your legs, please try to measure it using the millimeter side. So it will be the ones with the smaller intervals in the measurement, not the inch side, do the millimeter side, okay? So find the, the biggest swelling, the part, the biggest part of your leg that has the swelling and take note of it. Again, use the millimeter side. Now, <laughs> I made a mistake. That was the inch side, all right? So measure it, take note of it, write it down, and try to compare your reading or the measurement before and after doing the exercises and techniques that I'm going to show you in this video. And just, remind, just remember that I am going to show you a technique that could potentially improve the blood circulation, the blood flow and circulation of your legs at the end. So the first exercise, let me just keep my tape measure. The first exercise is going to be marching in place. Now, when you march in place, this will replace your walking if you don't have enough strength to do the walking. It is a common misconception that you are standing for too long and you are walking, you will have swelling of your legs. Standing static or you're not moving or walking, that will, you know, pull the blood and all the fluids to your legs. But if you are walking, you are um, pumping your muscles, that will help reduce the swelling and improve the blood flow and circulation of, of your legs, okay? So let's do 10 more of marching in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is marching in place. And if you can walk, just do your walking. Okay, for the next exercises, you will be lying down. So you can go to your bed, your couch, or if you can lie on your floor, lie on your floor. So I'll wait. Are you there yet? All right. So if you're on your bed, couch, or on the floor, we are going to lie down. And it is very important that you are going to elevate your legs higher than your heart, okay? So get you a few pillows, all right? And make sure, again, your legs are higher than your heart. You're also going to let gravity assist in improving the blood flow and circulation of your legs. And if you have swelling, this is very effective, okay? So, next exercise is just ankle pumps. So, just keep on pumping while watching TV, while reading a book, or just make sure you are not taking a nap. Do your ankle pumps. I know some of you will be sitting down and elevating your legs that is good but not good enough all right so as much as you can lie down and do your ankle pumps and do the other exercises okay so let's do 10 more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right next exercise is knee bending so knee bending is just like this. Try to bring your knee towards your chest and back down. All right. Again, just keep your legs elevated while doing these exercises. All right. Let's do 10 for each leg. One, two, three, four, five. If your leg is too heavy, assist it. Okay. Six, seven, eight nine ten let's do the other side one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's knee bending or knees to chest. Now, if you have reached this part of the video, I am doing the attendance check. Okay, so I will know who's following along and who's doing the exercises with me. And just type down below, flow. Again, the word is flow. Type it down below. All right. So the next exercise is going to be just a leg lift. Okay. So we're going to lift our leg high and back down. Try to keep that leg as straight as possible. Okay. And if it's too heavy, just go and assist your leg. If you can keep it straight, again, it don't matter. You can still keep it bent for as long as you're moving your leg, okay? So let's do 10 leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Let's do the other side. One, two, three. I'm just keeping my leg bent this time. Four. Five, just to demonstrate it's okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That was hard, but if you need to rest, take a rest, have a break, okay? Next exercise is just ankle rotations, okay? So this will improve the circulation of your feet, all right? So we're going to do ten for each side, all right? So ten for the right, 10 for the left. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the other side. One, two, three. My ankle is popping. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what? Let's go a second round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm not sure if I did it, if I did a separate, a, a, a different direction, but it's okay. Like I said, movement is the key, okay? So it don't matter what direction for as long as you're moving your leg, okay? And now I'm going to show you the last part, the last exercise, which is potentially can give you 74% improvement on blood flow and circulation. And what I'm talking about is using a foam roller. So you can get this at any sports outlet or just order it online. I will leave a link if you want to purchase it from where I got it. I'll leave it a link down below. And um, this is very useful for everyday life, all right? If you have stiff joints, your back, this will also improve your, your um, back problems, all right? So, but we're not using it for our back. We're using it to improve our circulation, the blood flow and circulation of our legs. There was a study made by Hatfield and others, his associates, that using a foam roller, but they just did it on one area, the IT band, which is here, the side of your leg, the outside part of your leg. So they say three sets of 45 seconds of foam rolling improved 74% circulation. <laughs> All right, so get you a foam roller. Again, I'm going to leave a link down below. All right, but there's no obligation there. It is an affiliate link, so that will help my channel grow and help me make more videos, okay? So, get your foam roller and just follow along these exercises with me once you get it, okay? Let me do the other side too. Again, 45 seconds for each set. And they say three sets of 45. So that's what? 130 seconds, if I'm right, 135, <laughs> but anyway, so you don't have to just do the IT band, you can do the back of your legs too, 
just like this. Oh, that felt good. All right. So 45 seconds to each area of your leg will improve the circulation and blood flow of your legs. All right. So this is how you do the back part. All right. If you can't do this on the floor, you can do this on your bed. But it won't be as effective. But, you know, something is better than nothing, right? So, while you're at it, you can also use this uh, foam roller for your calves. It's just like massaging your calves, all right? So, 45 seconds. I'm not going to show you the full 45 seconds in each area because that will make the video long. So for the front part of your thigh, you just go this way and the other side. All right. So I'm just show you, showing you the techniques on how to do the exercises and the use of a foam roller to improve the circulation of your legs and blood flow by 74%. All right, good job. Those are the techniques and exercises to improve circulation and blood flow to your legs. And now it's time for you to get your measuring tape. And again, use the millimeter side because the inch side will have bigger Measurement so the millimeter side you will see a potential shrinkage of the swelling if you have swelling Okay, but if you don't have swelling Just try to measure it anyway, so it wouldn't hurt right so measure and if it worked That means that you are on the right path keep doing those exercises every day and Consider sharing this to your family or friends who will benefit with this video and if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, just type it down below and I will happily answer them as soon as I can. And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, palam!